The internet is older than most people think. I'm not just talking about like the, the defense shit from the 60s. I'm, I'm talking like Usenet groups, bulletin boards. Everything before the eternal September came and ruined it for everybody. I was like one year old. I'm the issue here. But there is some fascinating history if you delve deep enough. And I want to show you a few things today because I'm bored. We're all dying. And it's, it's fun to reflect on your mistakes. Here's a great example. This is a post from the day after the Berlin Wall fell, which is just an incredible piece of history. Now, it's quite formal. This is the early days of the internet, after all. It reads like a correspondence. It reads like a letter. We're some years away yet from Berlin Wall is over party. But that's just how the internet rolled back then. It also took, it seems, most of the night to report on, hours and hours before someone on the internet mentioned the Berlin Wall had fell. That would be in seconds today. It really does show you how even the internet has changed in the last 30-ish years. Just fascinating stuff. It's not just news events. There's pop culture, there's discussions. Here's a list of Star Trek discussions from 1983. Here's a contemporary review of Back to the Future. Complete with a rating scale I have never seen before. Minus four to plus four. Fuck one to ten. This is where the real shit happens. There's reviews of Tron. E.T. Conan the Barbarian. This person gave it a three. Out of plus four. Pro wrestling. I may be opening myself up for some heated flames, but lately the pro wrestling hype has caught my attention. My question is, who are the current world champions for the WWF, AWA? Pro wrestling to net bullshit or perhaps net moron. Man, even back in the 80s, people were giving wrestling some shit. <laughs> I wonder what the first swear word online was. Well, Google's turned up absolute dick all, so if you know the answer, please let me know below, because I'm genuinely curious. I want to know who was the first one to drop an F-bomb or an S-bomb or what have you online. Give that person a goddamn medal. Video games. Here's a post about the Nintendo Game & Watch in February 1982. This is pre-Famicom, pre-NES, pre-Mario Brothers. Donkey Kong's existed for less than a year. This is history in the making. And it was made 40 years ago. Not much to it, it's just someone talking about the game watch, but hey, there you go. Content. This person thinks the SNES CD was scrapped because news got out and Sony got cold feet. They got cold feet alright, but not for that reason. How'd that work out for you, Nintendo? I've only scratched the surface of what you can find in these archives, but I think that's enough for now. I'm going to drop a few links in the description below. I want you to go and look at some of this stuff too. It's fascinating. Find a subject you know a bit about, like a TV show you like, or a hobby, or a sport, and, and just see what people were thinking about it 30 years ago. It's fascinating. While you're at it, subscribe, leave a comment, rate this video plus 4 out of plus 4, or minus 4 out of minus 4, I don't give a shit. If you like it, I might make a video like this soon, again. Find some more posts from net history and make shitty jokes about them. Either way, I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll catch you next time. Maybe. If you come back, please come back. <laughs>